Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. The diagram shows a regular hexagon. Prove vector AB minus vector BC plus vector CD minus vector DE plus vector EF minus vector FA equals to a zero vector. Step number one, from the given, this is a regular hexagon. And what that really means is that the length of each side is going to be the same. Or you can say the magnitudes are the same. If you divide this with so the center, let's call this O, you can also see the following. A circle is going to be 360 degrees. 360 divided by 6 is going to be 60 degrees. All three angles in any given triangle must add up to 180. 180 minus 60 is going to be 120. Divide that by 2. And this is going to be a 60, 60, 60 degree triangle. So this is going to be an equilateral triangle, just like that. Now, if I look at the following vectors, AB, ED, AB and ED, and negative DE, write down the following concepts. Vector AB, equals to vector ED, which equals to vector negative DE. Let's talk about this. So we know these are equal vectors because they're the same magnitude in the same direction. And if you think about negative vector DE, this equals to vector ED, which equals to vector AB. And this is going to be super useful in a moment. Now, likewise, if you think about the next part, negative vector BC, which is right here, negative vector BC equals to vector OA, which equals to vector EF. Let's write this down. So again, negative vector BC equals to vector OA, which equals to vector EF. Again, we know this because equal vectors have the same magnitude in the same direction. One more time. If you look at vectors CD, BO, and AF, they are the same. So again, CD, which is right here, equals to BO, which equals to AF. Let's write it down. So vector CD equals to vector BO, which equals to vector AF. And of course, vector AF equals to negative vector FA. So again, just like that. I'm going to go back to green just to pair this up. Vector EF, just like that. Now, to do this, first, you must start with RTP, which means required a proof, and you're copying the question as is. Now, as you're copying this, be mindful that the right hand side is not equal to zero. The right hand side is equal to a zero vector, and of course, a zero vector is not the same as zero. One has a magnitude only, and the other one have both the magnitude and the direction. Now, the first step is write down LS, which is left side. Again, you copy as is. Now, if you look at this carefully, I'm going to write this into two different groups. So I'm thinking about the first, third, and fifth vector. Vector AB plus vector CD plus vector EF. The second group is going to be minus vector BC minus vector DE minus vector FA. Now, I'm going to erase some of this. Let's make sure you really get this. You can do this. If you really think about the triangle, the key behind this example is right here. You're thinking about zero vectors, and one of them is going to go from 
AB to BO to OA. And the second one you're going to see is the exact opposite. So let's start with the first case. AB, you can copy as is, so vector AB. If you think about vector CD, this is the same as vector BO. So again, let's make sure this is clear. If I go back to the same color, again, CD, which is going this way, is the same as BO, which is going this way. They're equal vectors, same magnitude, in the same direction. Now, likewise, if I think about vector EF, that's going to be the same as vector OA. Again, let me use the same color for you. EF, which is basically from here to here, equals to OA, which is basically from here to here. Again, equal vectors, same direction, and the same magnitude. Now, I'm going to go through the same process for the second group. If you think about vector negative BC, this is equal to plus vector OA. Again, no student is left behind. Think about negative vector BC. That's the same as saying vector CB. Vector OA, which is basically like that. And again, equal vectors have the same magnitude and the same direction. Likewise, if I look at vector negative DE, this equals to plus vector AB. Again, let me go back to the same color, negative DE and AB. AB starts from A and it goes to B. Vector negative DE equals to positive ED, just like that. One more time. If I look at the last part, negative vector FA equals to vector positive BO. Again, if I use the same color, negative FA positive BO. BO means to start from B all the way to O. Negative vector FA is the same as AF, which starts from A all the way to F. Now, look what happens. Think about the concept of zero vectors. If I look at the first piece, and I'll put this in a fourth color, there's two ways to understand this. Graphically, AB plus BO plus zero A is going to be a zero vector. Now, algebraically speaking, notice how these are the same. So this becomes vector AB plus vector BO, which is basically vector AO. Again, these are the same. So when you combine this, you're going to get a zero vector. Let's write this down. That's going to be a zero vector. Plus, same idea, if I look at this second group, vector OA plus vector AB plus vector BO. Again, algebraically, A and A are the same, and B and B are the same, so you end up with a zero vector. Graphically speaking, again, OA plus AB plus BO, that's going to be a zero vector. And of course, a zero vector plus a zero vector is going to be a zero vector, which equals to the right-hand side. I hope this makes sense.